the problem with bollywood is not that the problem is more deep rooted jerom is the fact that the funding of bollywood happens from a different source uh i was in a debate in trivandrum about 5 uh, 6 months ago with mr rvs money at a conference uh, on the hindu uh, sammelan there and he made one statement which is very alarming and he told me this before also in an interview which i did on television with him earlier is that every year hundreds of movies are kind of produced in kerala but there are some 20 to 30 movies which never see the light of the day they are announced with big fanfare big star cast a lot of money is splurged around and after that those movies just disappear where did that money go and these are all coming in cash and all coming from a particular country or a particular group of countries now this is what is the boycott call all about is the boycott call is about the film artist taking the audience for granted today we a small movie guy doesn't need a theater release he can just put his movie on the youtube or on an ott platform if he has a good negotiating capability and make some money out of it so some brilliant movies that came out in malayalam during the lockdown a lot of us saw those movies i mean the script is very important you don't hear of a boycott call in a malayalam movie or a kannada movie or a tamil movie why is it that you're seeing it only in hindi movies because the bollywood as we call it takes the audience for granted they think the audience is a fool the audience will watch any crap that they put out sorry those days are gone in south there is no realistic expectations from a movie star the budgets are lower and even if there's a grandeur like what happened with bahubali or rrr those grandeurs are all still on expected lines they don't mock hinduism there actually if you look at bahubali they portray more of hindutva causes there True. without out- outwardly saying it so my logic is very simple this so called boycott of beat uh, launching chada or beat of the latest one including brahmastra is happening because those heroes or heroines in those movies make certain statements which hurt the hindu community they think it's very fashionable to do it and when it hits home for them then they start apologizing then they start saying oh we were quoted wrongly we didn't really mean it the time has come now to bollywood to be more professional okay i'm not getting into how much the hero should get paid how much the heroine should get paid how much whatever it is the star cast get paid but the point is very simple don't mock the citizens of this country don't take them for granted don't think your audience is a fool don't go to temples and make a big show of it just before the movie is released just because you want to curry favor with a particular community it doesn't work other rather you go anywhere go to darga or anything why do you do that only before the movie is released so sure. okay that is very very obvious i mean you are take, thinking that people are fools you are getting articles written in uh, all the television channels you are reading i mean you are getting in newspapers written in newspapers don't don't you think people know that these are all pr mm-hmm.